morning. Welcome back to Gabe Brewer Jr. at Picadome. We are on part two. If you haven't seen part one yet, please go back and check that out. It was a decent start. Uh, this is my first time on the course and uh, we're getting a feel for it. But now we're here uh, for part two. We're gonna hit holes uh, seven through 12 and let's go have some fun. Hole number seven. Looks to be another par three over this creek, up the hill to the green. It's about 145 yards. Okay, somewhere around pin high, but I pulled that one to the left. Hey, if I was playing uh, big cup golf, that's a pretty good shot. But I'm not. Flag's over there. Oh well. Hole number eight, looks to be a dog leg right, par four, about 340 yards, somewhere around the corner in those trees. All right, because this is a short hole and it's blind going around the corner, I'm gonna take a three wood at it. I usually can fade it pretty good and see if I can get this in the middle of the fairway. Good shot, a little high. Definitely went over the corner of those trees. Might be good. Looks like I got a little lucky. There's a sand trap. And I know you can't see my ball, but it is just off that hill in front of it. I got 135 yards to the flag. A little bit uphill, small breeze. I've been hitting everything short, so I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Landed on the right hand side of the flag. I don't know if it held the green or not. Well, apparently that my head is kind of backwards. I meant to say that I flew off to the left hand side of that uh, flag. I'm about pin high on the green. Hole number nine, par four, 425 yards down the hill, and then it looks like it goes off to the right somewhere. That ball went into the other fairway. Club slipped in my hand. Just a miss. Well, just because this is uh, short grass, perched on a nice little hill, I don't think I can call this a fairway hit. I don't even know what fairway I'm on. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, we're about 210 yards over those trees. We're gonna take a three hybrid and see how close we can get it.
Well, that was a beautiful shot up and over those trees. Let's go check that out. You know, I'll take that over the trees any day. My question for this segment is this. I'm just off the green, uh, five feet, and then maybe another 25 feet to the hole. I'm gonna take a nine iron and chip it up and try to run it up there. How would you do it? Ask the question. Would you fly it in there and have it stop? Would you also chip it and roll it up there? Maybe you'd putt it. Stick in the comments, let me know what you would do. I'll take the hard part. Hole 10. Looks like to be a par five. You gotta start out driving over this gorge out into the fairway somewhere there. And then straight ahead where up in front of that cart, that's where the flag's at. That was a good shot. Straight, I should be in the fairway. That is a good start. I've got 250 yards up over this hill. Looks like it goes back down then back up a little bit. I only hit my three wood, about 220, 230. So I should be short of the green. I crappily sliced that hard into the right. Darn it. I'm way over here to the right. I got 88 yards up over these trees to my green. I'm gonna take a full sand wedge at it. Hole 11, par four, 345 yards, down this hill and somewhere over the left behind those trees. Again, that was another beautiful shot right down the middle of the fairway. After a very nice shot here in the fairway, I find myself 82 yards to the flag. A little bit uphill. I'm gonna just try and do a nice smooth sand wedge at it. Let's see if I can not mess this up. And that was a little too smooth. I ended up short. Okay, we're gonna try a little 50 degree up and down. I was too scared, I did not commit. And so I kind of just haphazardly chipped it up there. Hole number 12, par three, down the hill. It's about 177 yards. 
flag looks to be right there in the middle. Flag is about 170 yards. We're gonna take a six iron. And like most everything else I've been playing today, short. Well, that's it for part two over here at Gay Brewer Jr. at Picadome. I'm really liking this course. Had a little give and take on those holes, but uh, let's see if we can try to improve on that. If you like these videos, click like. I would really appreciate that. And if you'd like to see more, click subscribe. Hard Park Golf is gonna put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and Saturdays. And I hope you come along for the journey. Until then, you have a great day.